Everyone, please rise and remove your hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as Skylar Knight will be singing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave good evening i would like to welcome all the family members and friends who have come to witness this special celebration we thank you for all your support and allowing us to educate these young adults over the past four years i would also like to thank our board of education members for continually supporting us throughout the year Thank you to our district administrators, led by Superintendent Dr. Alex Anamone, Business Administrator Barbara Francisco, Director of Education Daniel Novak, Director of Special Services Dr. Elizabeth McQuaid, and our district principals and supervisors. A special thank you to Assistant Principals Mr. Polero and Mr. Schutte for their dedication and support to the students of West Milford High School. I would also like to recognize our West Milford High School Educators of the Year, Ms. Nicole Gwinnett and Dr. Kristen Marston. I would like to thank our faculty for all their support and dedication to our graduate, graduates on a daily basis and especially during this difficult and unprecedented time. In particular, I'd like to recognize our retiring teachers, Mr. George Warren, Mrs. Laura Oakes, and retiring security guard, Mr. William Van Dyke. I would like to cap off my recognitions by spotlighting the class of 2020. From the very beginning of the school year, we challenged this class to be leaders and set a positive tone for the building. They were encouraged to be active volunteers in the community and for charitable organizations. This was on display during the pandemic when clubs, teams, and individuals gave back to their community by making various donations to food pantries and those in need. During these uncertain times, this class led the way when schoolwork wasn't necessarily a priority due to COVID-19. They were able to balance what was going on in their home lives and stay dedicated to their academics. Students from this class have been accepted in some of the most prestigious institutions in the country and premier technical universities. For those entering the armed forces, we thank you in advance for your commitment to serve our country. What I have missed most from not being able to see this class on a daily basis is our conversations in the hallway. Whether it was just checking in, talking, talking about your car, discussing a game, asking how you did on that test, or some of you using me as a pass so you wouldn't get a late to class, I will always cherish those times together. I would like to leave you with a quote from Derek Jeter. There may be people who have more talent than you, but there's no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. Please remember that you are always welcome. The high school doors will always be open for you. We look forward to hearing all about your success in life. And remember, once a Highlander, always a Highlander. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I would like to introduce Dr. Alex Anamone, Superintendent of Schools. Good evening, parents and grandparents, faculty and staff, Board of Education members, administrators, and most importantly, good evening to the West Milford High School class of 2020 identified immediately as the first cohort of American babies born after 9-11, you entered our school system in two, September of 2007 and complete it now from home due to a global health pandemic. You have all stood the test of time 
and the words of Winston Churchill remind me a great deal of the class of 2020. He once said, you have not journeyed all this way because you are made of sugar candy. Put another way, your toughness is remarkable and most likely your defining attribute. Carry this toughness with you at all times. In the long run, your resiliency will be, some, will be that something extra special that helps the class of 2020 as it moves out into the real world, whether it is higher education, the military, or directly into a career. John Greenleaf Whittier once said, for all sad words of tongue and pen, the saddest are these, it might have been. I leave you with these words, not as a reminder of what could not be, but rather as a challenge for you all moving forward to live your life with passion and not ever take anything for granted. Embrace each day with purpose, with passion, and you will all be very successful. Thank you all, and may God bless the class of 2020, and may God bless America. Go Highlanders. In a world full of so much uncertainty and challenges, the class of 2020 has carved a niche for themselves. They are unique. Collectively, they entered this world in the aftermath of the worst terrorist attack in our nation's history. Collectively, they grew and prospered and learned and bloomed into the senior class of West Milford High School in the year 2020. They are graduating in the midst of a terrifying global pandemic, but even this has not stopped them. They are worldly because of their experiences in education. 9-11 for the West Milford High School senior is a historical event. It isn't even something they lived through. As parents, educators, and administrators, this is something that is the very tapestry of our existence. For the class of 2020, they look to us for their firsthand knowledge. Our seniors were born into the world of texting. Texting is actually older than our seniors. They were born into a digital world. They are used to instantaneous information and immediate gratification. Google is just a verb. Seniors, Perhaps years from now, your own children will ask you for help on a history paper showcasing the year 2020. Googling will not be necessary. You can provide a primary source. With all of this in mind, and with a nod to years past in hopes to benefit the future, this year's class gift is part of a cumulative project. In front of the high school now is a wooden sign, proudly sporting our name. In the back of the school, there is an old fashioned sign which requires constant updating and daily challenges to find the necessary letters to display high school activities. With the final donation of next year's class of 2021, added to the generous contributions of the years 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019, we will be installing a high tech digital sign at the high school front door to proudly display the vast daily activities and games. Underneath that sign, we will give recognition to the six years of classes who donated. In decades to come, anyone who is driving in the high school portion of this campus will be easily informed of all the greatness that occurs here each and every day. And now I'd like to turn it over to our salutatorian, Sarah Gustinelli. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, parents, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. Tonight we celebrate the West Milford High School Class of 2020. When I started to think about what to say in this speech, I looked up the definition of salutatorian in the Urban Dictionary. It describes a salutatorian as, and I quote, the less important of two high school students who have to give a speech on graduation day. To say the least, this was not helpful. I also realized, due to this inconvenient pandemic, instead of saying this speech live on graduation day, I would have to record it and watch myself give this speech on a screen. I do not know which one is worse. I know I'm stating the obvious that we did not picture our high school graduation at the Warwick Drive-In, but instead of dwelling on the senior events that we missed, 
I want us all to remember the great times that we did get to experience during our four years as Highlanders. For years to come, we will remember the Friday night football games, the herd showing school spirit by supporting our sports teams at West Milford Lakeland rivalry games, our junior prom, our senior trip to Great Adventure, the bus rides and the bus rides with our sports teams. I can personally attest to the girls varsity soccer bus rides. We never stop singing. J.K. Rowling once said, we do not need magic to transform our world. We carry all of the power we need inside ourselves already. Although we do all have the strength we need inside of us, many people have helped us get to where we are today. I would like to thank our teachers for giving us not only academic knowledge, but preparing us for challenges outside of the classroom, our coaches for always pushing us to improve, our parents for being our unwavering support systems, and thank you to us, the graduates. We have all overcome our own personal obstacles to, in order to be here today, and that has taken a great deal of determination and perseverance. We will now use the same inner power that we used to overcome past difficulties to face the future with tenacity and courage. Sitting here tonight, we have graduates who are going to, into college, going into trades, the military, and joining or starting businesses of their own. We all have unique talents and abilities that we will use to better society in some way. Whether it will be to educate our youth, lead a corporation, build homes, or save lives. The future that we've seen in the distance for so long is finally here, and I wish you all the best of luck. At this time, I'd like to bring up our class valedictorian, Samantha Hazen. Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Sam Hazen from Big Cat Rusk. Oh, I'm getting told that phrase might be trademark. Yeah, expensive copyright lawsuit? I get it, I'll change the opening. Um, welcome all you cool cats and kittens, the Board of Education, teachers, parents, and the class of 2020. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And without further ado, we'll get into the speech. You know what? I'm standing up here behind this podium and something feels wrong. I want to ignore this feeling, to pretend that it doesn't exist. But does it, does it? And if I ignore it, is this moment really real? I think what is wrong is that I'm standing up here alone on this stage. I mean, I've imagined this moment at least a hundred times. And the best part was always that I was the only person behind the podium. Finally, all eyes were on me, and I would be getting the recognition I deserved for my achievements. But as earned recognition was taken away from me because of some global pandemic, I began to realize how many kids would not be getting the acknowledgement they deserved, even if these were normal conditions. So this speech is for anyone, for everyone who is sitting before me today, because maybe your success didn't come from school but that doesn't mean you are any less accomplished. Maybe in high school, you learned how to be a dependable friend. Maybe you learned a new hobby or taught yourself how to fix cars. Maybe you got a job and found a new passion in life. Maybe you finally learned how to love yourself. These are accomplishments that the school will not recognize, but that does not make them any less profound. So I want you to take a moment and feel proud of all you have done because every one of us is worthy of accolades. I also want you to take a moment and think of who helped you to get here, to achieve the things you have, because very rarely is greatness achieved alone. And so in order to truly recognize the significance of this moment, I believe a couple of thank yous are in order. First, I would like to thank all of my friends. And know this, if you're sitting there wondering, am I included in this? Am I one of your friends? The answer is undoubtedly yes. So I would like to thank you all for your uncanny ability to always encourage me to do better. Whether it was explaining what a chemistry question was asking, making a boring class exciting, or helping me decide which outfit looked better, you were always in my corner. For all that you have done for me, I will never be able to thank you enough. Instead, I can only wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. Next, I would like to thank all of the teachers, because let me just say, 
you guys are real troopers. Some students can be really annoying. I mean, look at me. Always staying after class, asking for help when you just want to go home and see your families. The worst. So there's a couple of teachers in particular that I would like to thank for putting up with me. First, I would like to thank Mr. Warren. You were always willing to take a little extra time to explain a lesson, and you always had your students' best interests in mind. Thank you. To Mrs. Flaherty, who never wanted a project's guidelines to limit our creativity. Thank you. To Coach Palugi, for a great year of STEM and two great years of JV field hockey, wish we could have made it three. Thank you. To Mr. Nikinis, who always gave students the opportunity to have a good laugh in his class, especially on Funny Video Fridays. I know you thought we would forget, but we didn't. You gave us a chance to be ourselves. Thank you. To Mrs. Nikinis, who took the time to get to know her students. I mean, seriously, she knew which lessons I would like or dislike before I even knew. If that's not dedication, then I don't know what is. So thank you. To Mr. Rose, and I'll keep this short for your sake, thank you for being real. I needed that. Also, big shout out for you hooking me up with Mr. Jacklin's contact information. That was a huge help. And the biggest thank you of all to Ms. Calderon for taking the time to make an impact in my life. Instead of telling me that my writing was bad, you would tell me that it was pedestrian. And whenever I was finally able to grasp a concept, there was no limit to your praise. I will never be able to express how desperately I needed your positivity in my life. You were a teacher. Thank you. Thank you to all the teachers, but a special thank you to the teachers I just mentioned. And my final thank you goes to my family. Thank you to my sister, Bray, who made me recall math lessons that I would have rather forgotten. Thank you to my dad, who showed me what was possible with a proper education. And thank you to my mom, whose faith in me never wavered, even when mine did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would have never accomplished what I have today if not for the help, love, and support of those around me. And I believe I speak for everyone when I say we will never be able to express our gratitude to those who made this moment possible. However, I hope at least a couple of my fellow graduates will try to after tonight. Because if there's one thing I can leave you with for after high school, I hope it is the realization that we will go farther together than we ever will alone. Superintendent Adamon, President Van Dyke, and members of the Board of Education, it is my pleasure to state the following. High school graduation requirements are set forth by New Jersey State Statute and Administrative Code, Title 6A, Section 8, and Title 18A, Section 35. Locally, they are contained in Board of Education Policy 5460. I certify that the students seated before you have met the graduation requirements of the West Milford Board of Education and the State of New Jersey. Therefore, it is my honor to present the West Milford High School Class of 2020. I would like to call up Board of Education President Linda Van Dyke. Welcome Class of 2020. May you live in interesting times. Every year, all over the world, high school graduates are giving all types of platitudes and cliche advice from administrators, teachers, and other VIPs. While every year graduates face certain challenges, today, in 2020, the challenges are coming from all angles. From the coronavirus that interrupted our traditional methods of classroom teaching, to protests across the world for social justice, an uncertain economic outlook, we are certain that the education provided here at West Milford High School prepared you to face the upcoming challenges ahead. Whether your course is going on to college, joining the military, or going into a trade, your education here formed the building blocks for a lifelong passion for learning. High school graduation is just the start, not the end. 
of your, of your educational journey. No matter if your formal schooling ends here or you are going on to college and beyond. To our graduates, on behalf of the entire Board of Education, I wish the best of luck to you all in whatever endeavors lie ahead for you. Be the change you wish to see in the world. We are so proud of you. Emilio Abreu. And Sarah Augustinelli. Anthony A. Agello. Morgan Amundsen. Usakarn Anantasub. Jordan James Arujo. Sergio A. Armas. Madison Rose Augustine. Patrick Babbitt. Brandon Baldwin. Olivia Marie Ballesteri. Gabriella M. Barca. Thomas D. Barker. Megan Barone. Christopher Barrer. Nicholas Bartoli. Nicholas Batiotis. Nicholas Sean Falcaro. Theodora Bernetsky. Nicholas Leonard Bono. Angelique Sierra Bosnick. Samuel Botner. Anna Rose Brand. Joseph Lawrence Brazili. Mitchell Brivag. Timothy Richard Brotherton. Evan D. Brown. Kirsten Megan Brown. Caroline I. Brunetto. Danielle A. Buckley. Renee Burns. Destiny D. Caffrey. Daniel M. Campos. Catherine M. Candre. Matthew Carroll. Joseph Philip Carazone. Ciara Cedeno. Brandon M. Cerrone. Jonathan Chacon. Sarah Nicole Chimileski. Stephen Thomas Chimileski. Courtney Sienke. Wesley Cologne. Cassie Camarado. Donald Charles Connors Jr. Riley N. Colton. Chloe M. Curtin. Joshua Curving. Joshua Paul Dagnold. Althea Rose De Benedetto. Molly Noel De Benedetto. Lydia Decker. Nasier A. De La Cruz. Marissa Joe DiLorenzo. 
Cameron David DeLuca. Kevin Albert James DeRaffoli. Jeffrey Didiver. Michael Dockerty. Robert Michael Dragonetti. Ryan M. Drazik. Luke Gabriel Duran. Cody Eckert. William Raymond Egan Jr. Marissa Joan Ehrman. Christopher Robert Elliott. Richard J. Esposito. Sean Raymond Fagan. Gabrielle Farias. Samantha Lynn Faulkner. Christina C. Fedor. Juliana Lynn Fenning. Lucas Furco. Nicholas Ferrari. Cristiano Fidalgo. Julia Brooke Fredericks. Mackenzie Fuller. John Gaffney. Egidio L. Galante. Haley Geritano. Gina Gianetti. Edward J. Giratano II. Dean P. Giovanelli. Maria S. Gadow. Mackenzie Rose Gadudo. Jacob Gonzalez. Kira Grady. Kristen Graff. Tyler Hajisa. Aaron Brianne Hahn. Nicholas A. Hahn. Danny Hamlin. Anthony J. Hamill. Lauren Hand. Matthew Hand. Saul A. Hansel. Tyler R. Harrington. Brandon T. Hestup. Abigail Havel. Samantha Marie Hazen. Madison Healy. Joseph Paul Heisler. Denise Hernandez. Preston A. Hollinsworth. Corgan Thomas Horan. Andrew James Humble. Brooke E. Indo. Tiffany Anella. Jacob Thomas Ireland. Ashley Jacobs. Caitlin Grace Janicheski. Nicholas Johansson. Forrest Hunter Johnson. Katie Lynn A. Johnson. Daniel P. Carney. Jonathan Robert Kenny. 
Kyle Andrew Keo. Nicole Karamijian. Joshua Kessingood. Thomas A. Kilroy. Skyler K. Knight. Julia Christine Koch. Wyatt Cole. Samantha Kroger. Liam Cubulus. Gabriella Michaela Huss. Harley Caton Licardo. Alexander Michael Lang. Sam C. Loritano. Casey Jade Lively. James Libby. Jeremy Scott Lesko. Heather Marie Lubling. Matthew Michael Lombardi. Colin Charles Longiu. Daniel Christopher Lucarelli. Benjamin J. Malka. Ryan Daniel Maniscalco. Ariel Marquez. Riley May McGill. Benjamin McLaughlin. Brandon Cole Messina. Andre Milan. Kyle Lawrence Milne. Anthony M. Minadeo. Austin Moskowitz. Tara K. Mustafa. Alyssa Marie Nadratowski. Kyle Scott Nadratowski. Taylor Lynn Nadratowski. Glenn J. Nagy. Grace Maureen Nevin. Michael A. Nicholas. Christopher J. Nicoletti. Ayana L. Nunez. Dylan O'Brien. Shane P. O'Brien. Mackenzie Oaks. John Joseph Osterly. Anthony F. Ordeen. Casey Orlowski. Romario Padilla Lopez. Dominic T. Padovano. Noah Pagella. Ryan Michael Palumba. Marie Stella Parkin. Ashley Penna. Sabrina Adelena Pereira. Brandon J. Perez. Caitlin S. Peterson. Sophie Marie Pilar. Nicholas A. Fluda. Mary Porebski. Jasmine Alexandra Preval. Michael John Collins. Alyssa L. Quigley. Dennis Quinn. 
Megan Rampola. Jeffrey D. Reach. Vincent R. Regis. Brian Thomas Renna. Jessica K. Rinesmith. Brendan Joseph Rabarzik. Isabella Ringressi. Lauren J. M. Rivera. Tori T. Roberto. Bradley William Robinson. Joshua R. Roach. Sean P. Rodriguez. Jared E. Rodums. Taylor Rose Rogosich. Nicholas A. Rondinelli. Matthew Rosenberg. John Robert Sabo. Dallas F. Sanchez. Michael Separito Jr. Kevin P. Schaefer. Lacey Schaefer. Justin Schering. Jack M. Schwartzman. Ryan J. Schwartzman. Rihanna Scott. Jason Secklin. Christina Shao. Emily Colleen Sheridan. Haley Schuert. Veronica Sheck. Kayla M. Seamer. Ashley Christina Signoretti. Alyssa C. Smith. Gabrielle Sorecco. Nicole Sorecco. Ryan Starr. Zoe R. Starr. Ashley N. Stein. Deontay A. Stephenson. Sophie Stoft. Philip Lewis Strina. Jose Suarez. Erin Mary Swager. Emma Son. Jose Manuel Tapia. Caitlin M. Taylor. Daniela Toscano. Samantha Turi. Josie Michelle Ugliano. Daniel Ulmer. Danielle Umrichen. Alan Michael Van Alstein. Eileen M. Van Kirk. Jared Stephen Van Nortwick. Louise R. Valise. Angela Catherine Vogt. Alexa Jane Vrabel. Ashley Wardlaw. Peyton A. Washer. Benjamin Weiss. Andrew Justin Whalen. Sydney J. Williams. Daniel R. Woodcock. Andy Yang. 
Nicholas M. Yodice. Mateo Zemzer. Ryan Tyler Zepatelli. Lancy Zhang. Kari Anna Malatak. Madison Elizabeth Vacca. already heard time and time again, it's unfortunate that we can't have a graduation like those in the past, where we truly get to celebrate our achievements together. However, this is still a milestone that we will remember forever, probably even more so now, considering the circumstances. We cannot let what's going on in the world cause us to lose focus on all of our amazing accomplishments and memories from high school, because they are truly remarkable. These are moments that we will cherish forever, but it is time to move forward now. Class of 2020, congratulations on everything you've achieved, and good luck in all of your future endeavors. I know you will all accomplish many more amazing things. At this time, please join me in moving your tassel from right to left to signify our graduation. Once again, congratulations, we made it. In celebration of our graduation, we will toss our caps on the count of three. One, two, three. Cheers to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day Hey, everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday hey, hey, But everything gon' be alright, gon' raise a glass and say hey. Cheers to the ones that we got, cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your Memories bring back memories Bring back your There's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop now my heart feel like an ember 
And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never drop Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright Gonna raise a glass and say hey. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not Cause the drinks bring back All the memories Of everything we've been through Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your